In this video, we're going to have a look at the cumulative binomial distribution. So let's say, for example, we have a binomial distribution. X will be where we have 10 trials. And the probability of winning on each trial is 0 0.8. Where X is the number of wins. So if I want to calculate that out of these 10 trials, I win five times. So we learned on a previous video that that is just, well, five wins is 0 0.8 to the five. But if there were five wins, there must have also been five losses times 0 0.2 to the five. So we win five times, we lose five times. And the number of different ways it can happen is the number of trials with this combination operator the number of wins. So putting that in the calculator, we get 10 C5 times 0 0.8 to the power of 5 times 0 0.2 to the power of 5, which gives us that 0 0.0264. However, there is, in my opinion, a better way of doing that using the distribution mode on the calculator. So we're going to distribution mode, binomial PD, binomial probability distribution variable. So the number of wins was 5, the number of trials was 10, and the probability of winning was 0 0.8, which gives us exactly the same answer, 0 0.0264 equals 0 0.0264. Now let's say we want to do instead the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. Now what we can do is calculate all the probabilities and add them together. So that's the same as the probability x is equal to no wins plus the probability x is equal to 1 win plus the probability x is equal to 2 wins. We can calculate all those three probabilities separately. However, there is a better way than that, a much better way. So if I delete that, don't want to do that. Text ages. So in the calculator, I go again into distribution mode. But this time we're going to scroll down to the next screen. And we're going to use the binomial cumulative distribution. So the binomial cumulative distribution. Now I take a screenshot of this. And it works out the probability that x is less than or equal to a particular number. So let's go into binomial cumulative mode. So we'll scroll down one menu, and it's mode one. Again, we're gonna go for variable. We'll describe later what a list is. And we want x to be less than or equal to two. So binomial cumulative works out less than or equal to the mode we previously used, binomial PD, probability distribution, that works out the probability that x is equal to. So not to be confused, cumulative, less than or equal to, probability, equal to. So the number of trials here was 10. Probability of winning on each girl was 0 0.8. So now we've found the probability that x is less than or equal to 2, which is 7.79 times 10 to negative 5. So 7.79 times 10 to the negative 5. So let's do another. Let's find the probability that x is less than or equal to, say, 6. So probability that x is less than or equal to 6. So if we go back to the binomial cumulative distribution, simply put 6 in there. There it is, the probability that x is less than or equal to 6, where there's 10 trials and probability of winning of 0 0.8, which gives us an answer of 0.121 in this case, 0.121. Okay, so let's make it a bit more difficult now. Let's find the probability that x is greater than or equal to some. So now let's move on to a slightly more complicated sum. Rather than doing the probability that x is less than or equal to something, let's do the probability that x is greater than or equal to something. So let's say the probability that x is greater than or equal to, say, 5. 
So this is a bit more difficult because on the ordinary class with calculator, the calculator only does the probability that x is less than or equal to something. The cumulative distribution only gives us less than or equal to. If you've got a fancy CG50, uh, the graphical calculator, then it will do greater than or equal to's for you. So that makes it nice and easy. But the standard class was 20 quid job. That only does the probability x is less than or equal to. So we we'll really can't do this question straight away. Um, but in this case, rather than thinking about the numbers that we do want, i.e. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, let's think about what we don't want. So we do want 5, 6, all the way to 10. That's what greater than or equal to 5 is when there's only 10 trials. And we don't want... four, three, all the way down to zero. So all numbers, all probabilities add up to one. So if we take everything and take out the numbers that we don't want, i.e. one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to four, that leaves us with the probability x is greater than or equal to five. So we've taken all 10 numbers, one to 10, and we've taken out anything less than or equal to 4. That leaves us with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what we can do, in this case, 1 minus, and it's the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. So x is less than or equal to 4, 10 trials, probability of winning 0 0.8, the same situation as before. So it's 1 minus that there, 1 minus 6.369 times 10 to the negative 3. And that is now stored in the answer button. That value is now stored in the answer button of the calculator. So if I press menu and go to ordinary calculation mode, if I do 1 minus answer, then I get a more precise number, which is 0 0.994 equals 0 0.994. So let's do another. Let's do the probability that x is greater than or equal to 8, say, and in this case, we want 8 wins, 9 wins, and 10 wins. That's what greater than or equal to 8 is. So we do want numbers 8, 9, and 10. So the things that we don't want are 7, 6, 5, all the way down to 1. So we want everything, which has probability 1, and we're taking out anything less than or equal to 7. And our calculator can do less than or equal to 2s. So we're good. So let's go back here. Menu. Distribution mode. Then go to binomial cumulative, which does less than or equal to 2s. Variable. So we want less than or equal to 7. Number of trials was 10. Probability of success was 0.8. And there we have it, 0 0.3222. So 1 minus 0 0.3222 equals. And if we go to ordinary calculation mode, that's now uh, stored in the answer button to get 0 0.678 to three significant figures. 0 0.678 to three significant figures. Let's do another. So let's do probability this time not greater than or equal to let's do the probability that x is greater than four say so in this case we don't want four it's a strict inequality so the numbers we do want are five six seven all the way up to ten so we don't want four, three, and so on. So that's everything. Take what we don't want. Take the probability. X is less than or equal to four. Equals one minus 
back on the calculator now. So go into distribution mode. Which is mode 7. Binomial cumulative again. Variable. So we want to put in there less than or equal to 4. 10 trials. Probability of winning of 0 0.8. So the answer is 6.36938, so 1 times 10 to the negative 3, so 6.369 times 10 to the negative 3, 1 take, 6.369 times 10 to the negative 3. Going back to ordinary calculator mode, so mode 1, 1 minus... The answer, 0.994. And we've actually already done this one. Greater than 4 is the same as greater than or equal to 5, so it's no surprise that it has the same answer as the question above done in blue. So another type of example that we might be asked to do. I'm just ruling off there because it's... I think a significant difference. So let's say we want the probability that x lies between two values, i.e. the probability that there's between 3 and 8 wins. Now this is dead easy on the CG50, the graphical calculator, the 120 quid job. But it's actually a little bit more difficult on the ordinary class whiz calculator. So Let's just list all possibilities now. List all possible numbers of wins we can have. So we'll do 10 trials. So we're going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 wins. And we only want the probability that the number of wins lies between 3 and 8. Well, we can eliminate 9 and 10 by finding the probability that x is less than or equal to 8. That gets rid of 9 and 10. So now, the number we've got when we're calculated on the calculator, that number there is the probability of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8 wins. That's what less than or equal to 8 means. However, there's still some other unwanted numbers in there. We want from 3 to 8... So we also don't want 2, 1, and so on. So we're going to take away the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So that's the first 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Take away the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So we're getting rid of those ones there. So let's illustrate that in the diagram leaving us with 3 to 8, which is what we wanted. So on the calculator, again, binomial cumulative mode, distribution, binomial cumulative, variable, so probability that x is less than or equal to 8, number of trials, 10, probability of a win, 0 0.8 as before, And we get that number there. So 0 0.6242 equals 0 0.6242. However, if you want to keep the long, more precise number, what we can do, if we press the STO button above the 7, STO for store, then just tap the red letter that we want to store it in. So above the minus sign with brackets, two numbers above 7, there's an A, just tap A. And then it tells me it's stored that number to A. So I go back now and do the other one, 2. And I should write it down, 7.793 times 10 to the negative 5. Take 7.793 times 10 to the negative 5. 
if I want to store that more precise number in the calculator, press STO again. And let's store this one in the letter B. So I'm pressing the button below the red letter B. And that tells me store to B. So now if I go into calculation mode, which is mode one. And to recall these, if I press alpha, the red alpha button at the top of the calculator, then the letter I want, take away, alpha, then B, I get 0 0.6243 to three significant figures, equals 0 0.624 to three significant figures. Let's do another. So let's say the probability that X lies between 5 and 9 but the 5 is a strict inequality so it cannot be 5 well I think it's much easier to change it to non-strict inequalities the less than or equal to and the greater than or equal to signs are ideal in this scenario so this is numbers not 5 but 6 7 8 and 9 so actually this can be better written as the probability that x lies between 6 and 9 and as we saw before, we get rid of the numbers we don't want at the top end, i.e. just 10, by calculating the probability that x is less than or equal to 9. And that's what that says. So if I cover up, we want the probability that x is less than or equal to 9. And that's what I've got there. However, in addition to that, we don't want 5 and below. So take away the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. Straighten the calculator. Distribution. Binomial cumulative. Variable. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 9. Number of trials is 10. Probability of success in this particular instance is 0 0.8. So I've got that number there, 0 0.8926. So equals 0.8926 and I'm writing this all down just so it's worth marks in the event of a wrong answer and as we did before we'll store that in the letter A so store A right now the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 let's write that down 0 0.0328 uh, 0 0.03279 rather do more significant figures than we need. 2, 7, 9. And we'll store that into the button B. Ordinary calculation mode. A, take B. Which is equal to 0 0.860 to 3 significant figures. quite a long video that but if you want to see more like it go to alevelmathsrevision.com subscribe to our youtube channel make sure you click like at the bottom of this video if you did actually find it useful